In an earlier video, we saw that low-dose nicotinic acid, more specifically 60 mg per day, increased NAD. But what's the lowest dose of nicotinic acid to impact NAD? So to address that for a March 4th test, I sent blood to Genfinity for intracellular NAD analysis, blood intracellular NAD analysis. And if you want to measure your own NAD levels, there's a discount link in the video's description. So from the last test until the day before this test on March 4th, average nicotinic acid intake was 27 milligrams per day. And I logged my supplement intake and food intake every day uh, using chronometer. So that's how I know these amounts. But we can be more specific with how much nicotinic acid before the test. Two weeks before testing, average daily nicotinic acid was 38 milligrams per day. And even more specifically, more specifically, one week before testing, it was 45 milligrams per day. So we've got a lower dose than the 60 milligrams. Will 45 increase NAD? But there's another metabolite that could potentially impact NAD, and that's trigonelline. And if you missed that recent video, it'll be in the right corner. So I've been trying to increase dietary intake of trigonelline with the goal of it on its, on its own increasing NAD. So for one week before testing, average trigonelline was, was my highest to date, 51 milligrams per day. So did that combination impact NAD? And unfortunately, it did not. We can see that my NAD for the March 4th test was 26.3 micromolar, which is not higher than my levels without NAD precursors, which as shown by these seven tests are in the 18.5 to 26.6 micromolar range. In contrast, with NAD precursors, NAD has been higher than 26.6 micromolar for seven tests, with the exception of 300 milligrams of NMN per day, which didn't move the needle, 25.3 micromolar. So to answer the question, what's the lowest dose for nicotinic acid to increase NAD? It's still, still 60 milligrams per day in my case, as the combination of 45 coming from nicotinic acid and 51 milligrams per day trig trigonelline didn't increase or move the needle in terms of NAD. So with that in mind, what's the next experiment? So half of that 51 milligrams per day of trigonelline one week before testing came from alfalfa sprouts as I was eating about 100 grams of those per day. And at those amounts, it's a decent source of trigonelline. Now, there is a food or a sprouted food, potentially sprouted food, that has higher levels of trigonelline relative to alfalfa, and that's red clover seeds. Now, I don't know if they're in, in the sprouts. I searched PubMed for studies that looked at trigonelline content in red clover seed sprouts. Wasn't able to find that, but the clover seeds have 5x more trigonelline than alfalfa sprouts. So for the next NED experiment, the plan is to eat an equivalent amount of sprouts coming from clover seeds relative to alfalfa, about 100 grams per day, which should 3x trigonelline from 50 to about 150 milligrams per day. So if I was getting 25 from alfalfa, clover seeds have 5x, that's 125 milligrams. And then 25 coming from my background from chickpeas and other foods, that should be 150 milligrams of trigonelline per day. So that's a 3x increase. Will that plus a much lower dose of nicotinic acid, I'm only planning on using it on exercise days as it may have some benefit in terms of heart rate variability and resting heart rate recovery. Will that combination, very low dose nicotinic acid with a 3x dose for trigonelline, impact NAD? The plan is to set in blood uh, within the next few days, either on Friday or on this Sunday, so four days away. So stay tuned for that data coming in an upcoming video. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for NED quantification, epigenetic testing, or microbiome composition, at-home metabolomics, at-home blood testing with CyFox Health, which includes ApoB and GrimAge, green tea, dye tracking with chronometer, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, buy me a coffee. We've also got merch. So if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Dye Trying brand, as I've got on here, that link and all of the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.